Hey everyone, it's Justin here. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk again about Slack and again about Service Operations Workspace, the two working together. So something that's a, a feature of Service now is live agent chat. So it used to be you could go to the portal and start a chat session with an agent, an IT agent, um, to get support, right? Maybe not deal with the virtual agent or a chatbot. So I've got a scenario here where I've got an agent in the service operations workspace, and I've got a user inside of Slack needing some help, and they're gonna engage the virtual agent, and we're gonna escalate to um, an actual live agent. So uh, what I did first is I made sure that as my IT agent that I made myself available. So in that workspace, you can go to the inbox and set which channels that you're available to be contacted on. So we took care of that. <clears throat> I'll go back to my homepage, and in the Slack, part of this just above my head, I'm going to start a conversation with the virtual agent. So you can connect ServiceNow's virtual agent to your Slack uh, instance and actually have conversations with it. Now, instead of starting a conversation or making a selection, I'm just going to type in live agent. And this is going to prompt the virtual agent to connect me to a live agent. So it's asking me to stand by. If you look over on the left now, we've got a little one indicator indicating somebody is waiting on a live chat. So in the service operations workspace, uh, we see that Justin is requesting that and we can reject it or accept it. We have about a minute to do that. So that's something we can define in the system, but let's go ahead and accept. And you will see that it will load up the active chat uh, where we can actually have that back and forth with the customer who's in the portal, plus the interaction records. So ServiceNow has automatically created a re an interaction saying, hey, we're having an interaction with somebody. We don't know if it's an incident. We don't know if it's a request, but we're gonna figure it out as we move through this interaction with that person. So as the IT agent, I'll say, hi, Justin. Thanks for reaching out. How can I help? And I'll type that in. Probably should have pasted that in a little bit a little faster, but now you can see how I type. I'll come back over here to Slack and we can see that came through from the live agent. So we'll just type back to that IT agent. My email isn't working. Send that on through. And we should be able to see that update come through on the chat side. Let me scroll down a bit here. There we go. So we got uh, my email isn't working and we can even see my little logo there. Um, so let's... Uh, just do one more interaction here. Sorry to hear that. Um, let me pull up a KB article. And we'll just type that in, KB article, and send that. And we should see that over there on the Slack side. So really simple feature there. Not a lot going on as far as demo, but there was some steps in the background to set up the Slack spoke, get your service operations workspace plugin installed and working. And if you have lots of users who are using Slack and reaching out to you individually or coming to a IT channel and asking for help, you can replace that, put the virtual agent in Slack. It comes with standard now, and so you can actually use that um, in the ITSM standard. And uh, now you'd have access to that live chat. Um, always check with your account representative to see if uh, there might be some licensing implications. But just know, I didn't know this before, that you can have those live chats back and forth through Slack and ServiceNow um, where everybody's sitting in the systems that they work in every day. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.